Lawmakers are working through dozens of bills in the state capitol from marijuana and voting rules to taxes and education. They're pushing bills through chambers before a deadline catches and kills the ones that don't pass. But one controversial bill backed by a Republican leader and the governor may not survive. 2 News Oklahoma's Katie Kelleher is covering the capitol tonight. The bill is known as the Oklahoma Empowerment Act. Basically, if a student chooses to leave a public school for a private school, the public funds for that student would follow them to their new school, which has some worried about funding for public school districts. It feels like there's constantly a threat to public education. Senate Bill 1647 concerning some teachers like Jennifer Esau. Governor Sitt championed the bill during last month's State of the State address. Because in Oklahoma, we need to fund students, not systems. The bill, written by State Senator Greg Treat, would take the more than $3,000 of state funds allocated for a student and put it in a savings account that the parent can access. They can use that money toward a range of things from private school tuition to tutoring services or specialized after school or summer programs. Governor Stitt saying education isn't a one-size-fits-all model and parents should have more school choice. We need to take bold steps. It will take courage and it will take a desire to make a generational impact. However, Esau, who is running for state Senate, worries this will hurt public schools even more. She says while about 90% of Oklahoma students attend public school, we're one of the lowest states for per pupil funding. Public schools are already struggling um, with staff shortages, um, increasing class sizes. So just the thought of any loss of funding really puts a lot of stress um, on the teachers who are, you know, the boots on the ground right now. Many who oppose the bill don't want taxpayer dollars going toward private education. Esau also points out the impact this could have on rural school districts, many of which are already underfunded. Any loss of funding, I mean, it, it's going to hit really hard, especially with our rural um, schools schools who don't have the same private school options as the more metro areas. We reached out to Senator Treat's office multiple times for an interview to discuss this bill, but he was not available. The bill was originally scheduled to be heard on the Senate floor this week. However, the session for the week is over and it was not brought up. It could be heard again next week before the Thursday deadline for Senate bills to advance to the House. If it doesn't pass then, it will not move forward this legislative session. Katie Kelleher, 2 News, Oklahoma.